Yeah, see the shark goes into auto detect mode. It changes color. Hello everyone, it's Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison on all three of these robot vacuum cleaners. On the left, I got the Shark Detect Pro. In the middle, this is the RoboRock Q5 Plus. And on the right, this is the Roomba iRobot J7 Plus. Now all three of these just do vacuuming. They don't do any mopping. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom. The Shark Detect Pro has a roller brush, a side brush and drive wheels. Same with the RoboRock single roller brush. This does float up and down, side brush, drive wheels. Now the Roomba does have two brushes and a side brush. Oh, I gotta change that out. That's, both those have broken off. Charging and drive wheel. Now the Detect Pro does have a matrix clean, but we're just gonna clean a room with all three of them, see how they do. Okay, let's tell all of them to start cleaning. Okay, I've got all three of them starting to clean. Okay, so I've got a really big mess in this room. We're gonna see how they do. So there's the Roomba. It's going back and forth. It's doing a really good job. The shark has a detect. So when it senses that there's a lot of dirt in the carpet, it's gonna stop and go over it again. Okay, so see the shark just went into auto detect mode. It's detecting dirt. So it ramped up the suction. All right, so the Roomba, it can detect dirt too. That light will start turning blue if it detects more dirt in the carpet on top. Now the RoboRock, as far as I know, it doesn't detect any dirt. It just has this pattern that goes with suction. Yeah, see the shark goes into auto detect mode. It changes color. RoboRock's probably the loudest, followed by the Roomba, then the Shark. Now the best one at obstacle avoidance is gonna be the Roomba. It does have that camera on the front that can sense really st stuff that is low to the ground, like a cable. Whereas these two, the, the obstruction or the whatever's on the floor has to be kinda high so that the LiDAR will see it. Yeah, this room was really dirty. They are getting it super clean. Okay, so I paused the shark. Let's take a look, see how well it did. It's gonna go auto empty this, but I just wanna take a look. Wow. That got a lot of dirt, a lot of fine particles. We're gonna check them all. Let's pause you and check. Yeah, it's dustbin is completely full of stuff. Okay, let's check the Robo Rock. Oops, yeah, oh wow. Both of them are like, all three of them did a really good job. They're completely full. That was a lot of dirt. Okay, all three of them are done. They're all going back to the dock. They're gonna do their auto empty. Okay, that's the shark. It's not super loud. Now the Roomba. It's really loud. Okay, so the shark is all done. Let's take a look at the app. Mission complete, one activated dirt detect, one activated never stuck, view report. It shows you where it cleaned. Right there is where it cleaned. So here's the Robo Rock. It shows you exactly where it went. Now back to the Roomba. We gotta go down here and see the history. And there's where it just does like a green area where it cleaned. No obstacles our images to review. If it had taken a picture, you would review it right here. So the RoboRock, uh, it's auto empty. I missed it. It's in between. The Roomba's the loudest, RoboRock's the middle, and Shark is the quietest. So all three of these have different features that I like. I like the Detect Pro, that it can detect dirt and kind of go around in the same area, and it is relatively quiet. The RoboRock does a good job of mapping. The app shows you where it is on the map. And the Roomba will avoid obstacles kind of low to the ground, take a picture of them, and suggest a no-go zone. I hope this comparison video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.